Hey everyone, it's Tom Crowder with another Rockstar Minute. Condo or townhome, which do you buy? Which is the better real estate investment? And in Oakville right now, there is a condo that's going up around the Trafalgar and Dundas area. It's getting a lot of attention and it's causing a lot of questions. We're getting really an unsolicited amount of questions, a lot of questions into the brokerage about that specific project. And it just kind of given us pause to think, what is the better real estate investment? Is it a condo or is it a townhome? And this one particular gentleman that we just met, not an investor we worked with, kind of a friend of a friend, really just had some legitimate concerns because he was looking at that condo um, in the Oakville area, but someone had recently told him, hey, never buy condos. Uh, townhomes are always the way to go and townhomes always appreciate better and uh, they're just a much better investment than a condo. And we kind of took pause, although we are big believers in you know single family homes and townhomes over condos ourselves as well, for someone to give that kind of advice just with a blanket statement saying townhomes are much better than condos, that's really not always the case. There could be good reasons to buy that Oakville condo, even if it doesn't create positive cash flow because there are stages in your life where different things make sense. For example, when you're just starting out or if you're trying to build a portfolio that is bulletproof through any type of recession or economic downturn, sure, you want positive cash flow properties. We talk about that all the time. But if you're in a state in your life where you know a, a few hundred dollars a month really isn't gonna affect you for one year, two years, three years, five years, 10 years, so if you have a slightly negative property and you just want a property in the Oakville area, maybe that condo makes a lot of sense. Now there's some other things that you gotta think about. For example, when that condo first closes, it's probably gonna be a lot of investors that buy that condo. So if you're looking to sell it quickly, it's gonna be a little bit of a saturated market. You probably will not get top dollar. You probably won't be able to sell it as fast as you think you're gonna, uh, you're gonna sell it. If you try to rent out that condo, there's probably gonna be a glut of condos up for rent with other investors doing the exact same thing. So you might not be able to rent it out very quickly. There is a rental apartment building that's gonna be built uh, really close by to that condo, um, just about a block away. So these are things that you have to think about before you buy a condo as an investment. But over five and 10 years, if you're buying that condo with a long-term mindset and you have the ability to carry some negative cash flow on the property, it might be the best investment ever for you because maybe you're buying it for a son or a daughter who you want to be able to buy, uh, live in the Oakville area. So you're buying today in anticipation of that and you're willing to eat a little bit of ca negative cash flow over the next few years to get that. So, you know, there could be a reason in your life where that condo makes a lot of just financial sense for you if that's your plan. Now, if you're looking just to create the most positive cash flow that you can get and get the best appreciation that you can get, maybe the townhome is the way to go. So, you know, it just depends at what stage you are in your life, what you're looking for. To say something is the hottest investment ever or to say one particular property is way better than another property, there's no such kind of blanket statement that anyone can make. And if anyone makes that to you saying that, the, you know, a condo is the hottest investment ever or a townhome is the only way to invest, always take pause. There's pros and cons to every type of investment. You know, it, it's, uh, we've never seen one property just be the best property ever. So hopefully that gives you something to think about. Until next time, your life, your terms.